Are you considering how to start a blog this year? If so, I'm going to share with you the seven steps needed to get started, so stay tuned. My name is Lisa Shimkus, and I am a mom of two who went from teaching to life. I enjoy writing, reading, crafting, and learning. My channel is here to help you learn and grow through the use of books and writing and to help you make your writing dreams come true. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to A Writer's Corner. Today's topic is how to start a blog. So you're considering starting a blog this year, and that's great because blogs are a great way to showcase your creativity and expertise to the world. Plus, there are many benefits to starting a blog, such as connecting with other bloggers, building a writing resume, you'll have a backlog of written content, developing your technology skills, creating a brand and business for yourself, and so much more. However, blogging is battling with another information sharing method, but we'll discuss that later. For now, let's talk about blogging. What is a blog? A blog is a website run by a single person or a team that is written in conversational or informational style. Did you know the first blog or personal homepage is believed to have been created by Justin Hall, a college student in 1994. His first personal homepage was links.net. The term web blog would take another three years to be coined by John Barger as he started logging the web or browsing the internet. Weblog would then be shorted to blog in 1999 by Peter Morals. Since then, people have taken to the internet to not only browse a website, but create their own. This is where they get to publish their thoughts, personal dramas, expertise, creativity, and so much more. Such blogging platforms include Blogger, WordPress, TypePad, Tumblr, Squarespace, and an ever-growing list. This means anyone can now have their own website or personal homepage. How to start a blog. One, choose a platform. There are many platforms to choose from as noted before. You have an array of options to choose from. So how do you decide? Search up a platform and read reviews to see what folks are saying. Is it user friendly? Is it free? How much are yearly subscriptions or memberships? What quirks or benefits come with the platform? Are there tutorials to help you get started? And so much more. Once you have the answers that work for you, select that platform that works for you. Two, choose your niche. A niche or niche is a specific area of interest. I'm going to stick to say niche because I like the sound of it. Choose your niche based on your hobbies, your career, or the next path in life you want to excel in. This is the area you want to not only learn about, but teach others about. And I say teach because this is how people are going to find your blog as they browse the internet. Reasons folks search up your specific area of interest is because of their personal interests, questions they need answers to, and the research they are conducting. Your blog will contain information that interests you and the viewer, you will be teaching them things that they want to learn about, and you will have information that they may not yet know about. In total, you are teaching viewers about your niche. Niches can include cooking tutorials to help those who are learning to cook for the first time, sports entertainment for those who like to keep up with sports, travel guides for folks who like to travel or want to learn more about a specific country or city they will be visiting, finance blogs because we all need help with finances, mental health and self-development for those who want to become a better person, and so forth. Three, select a topic. Now that you have a niche, come up with the topic that you want to write about within the niche. If you want to share recipes and teach others how to cook, decide which recipes you want to write about. If you want to update folks on sports, decide which sport or teams you want to write about. If you're a travel blog, decide which city or country you would like folks to know about and so on. Four, use a three paragraph essay structure and headers. A three paragraph essay structure includes an introduction paragraph, a body with evidence, and a concluding paragraph. When you start writing your blog post, use these as headers to keep your writing flowing and to keep you from getting off topic. Starting with this structure will also make it easier for your viewers to read and stay engaged with your writing. Five, Edit. Reread and edit what you have written. 
do a spell check, grammar check, you name it. Also have someone else read your writing to catch these and offer you feedback. This is to improve your writing and make sure it's eligible for your readers. Six, publish. You can now hit that publish button. Your writing is now in the public domain and anyone can search up your blog post to see what you have to share. Congratulations, you just wrote your first blog post. And seven, repeat steps three through six. Having a blog means perseverance. You will lose momentum due to this thing called life, but keep up with it. Again, a blog is your personal homepage to share the things that you are interested in, your expertise, and the things you are currently learning. By continuing to blog about your niche, you will have a backlog of information to showcase for a career change if you want, and to be known as an expert in this field. So don't give up because if you do, you will let not only yourself down, but your viewers. Words of caution. From my own personal experiences of having a blogger in middle school, starting a Tumblr in the early 2010s, I started a WordPress later on, and now I'm on YouTube, I have to say that blogging is not as popular as it used to be. Times are changing and people's preferences in how to obtain information is also changing. And yes, there are still bloggers out there and platforms like Tumblr and WordPress are not going anywhere, but people are starting to steer away towards another method, or shall I say another platform in order to gain information. And that is through the use of video blogs. And video blogs, as you can tell by the name, is another form of blogging, but through the use of video in order to share information and to consume information. They're more commonly called vlogs. And more and more people have started making vlogs on such platforms as YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and whatever platforms are out there. And this is also the place that they're going to to obtain information. Why is vlogging now the trend? Blogs were great when they started because it was a fantastic way for people to connect and communicate through the use of words and their keyboards. And everyone can now do the same with videos. Viewers no longer have to read content, they could just watch and listen. Personally, as a writer, I find vlogs to be a lot more time consuming to create, but they are a lot more people friendly. And from a teacher perspective, vlogs also reach a higher count of people based on their learning styles. Your visual learners and auditory learners can now benefit. Plus, your kinesthetic learners can now physically follow along to such videos as a workout tutorial or a cooking show. As for your learners who do better in reading and writing, they can easily turn on the closed captioning. In short, videos take more time to create, but they are a lot easier to consume and they reach a broader span of people. But don't let this stop you from creating a blog, especially if you communicate better through reading and writing, such as I do. There are still many bloggers out there and those of us who consume information through words, and the internet will always be a place of written information. In conclusion, if you want to start a blog, now is the perfect time to start. Blogs are a great way to showcase your expertise and your interest to the world and your blog can be easily searched up and viewed by others. There are also many benefits to having a blog, such as the ability to connect with other bloggers, becoming a better writer, developing your technology skills, creating a brand and business for yourself, and so much more. Just follow the seven steps and you are on your way to creating your own personal homepage. And there you have it, my steps for starting a blog this year. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And as always, have fun writing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!